Hurricane, typhoon, cyclone. Three different names for the same ruthless force of nature. The only real difference is their location. In the Atlantic Ocean, they're called hurricanes. In the Indian, they're called cyclones. And in the Pacific Ocean, they're referred to as typhoons. When strong clusters of thunderstorms drift over warm ocean waters, the warm air from the sea begins to rise, creating low pressure areas on the surface of the ocean. Air rises faster to fill this low pressure area and combined with trade winds spinning in different directions, the storm forms. The balmy climate of tropical regions makes them perfect incubators for these storms. Hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons are placed on a scale based on their sustained wind speed. Storms become a level one hurricane or cyclone when winds hit 119 kilometres an hour. On land, that means damage to homes and power lines. Level five cyclones, with winds measuring more than 252 kilometres an hour, can cause devastating damage if they maintain that force at landfall, like Cyclone Yassi did in Queensland. At almost 1,500 kilometres wide, the storm didn't completely disperse until it had nearly reached Alice Springs, causing $3.6 billion damage. Extraordinarily, no one was killed. The story could have been so different without the early warning systems, shelters and emergency response personnel. Storms don't even need to be at a Category 5 to cause that damage. When Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, it had already weakened, but still gutted the city. Unfortunately, natural disasters are out of our control. But what we can do is put money aside to ensure there's a piggy bank ready to go in an emergency when funds are needed urgently. Find out more at worldvision.com.au slash emergency prepare.